up, everybody. Oh, man. I was planning on crip walking out here, but then I found out our MC used to date a blood. <laughs> so uh, I, I missed that one. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, I'm nervous. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> My name is Rusty, and I'm from Pacoima. Uh, Pacoima. Our, our motto is. Or, Cruz Azul. No, 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 no. growing up a lot. <laughs> so I figured those were our models. <laughs> yeah, I got notes. I drowned in the pool when I was a year old for six minutes. Give me a break here. <laughs> I, lo I lose sight a lot. <laughs> those of you who don't know where Pacoima is, which is pretty much every white person here, <laughs> uh, Pacoima is a heavily populated Mexican uh, neighborhood. Yeah. It's a great place. I love it. Uh, pretty much I was uh, the only white kid there. So, I don't know. To make it uh, a little more simpler, I was like the only white thing in a big group of a bunch of brown things. <laughs> uh, two and a half months, and that was the best metaphor I had. I'm sorry. <laughs> So I grew up near uh, Branford Park. Branford Park was a, it could get rough, you know. Our friend one time said, hey, don't walk, don't go there at night, you know. Somebody got stabbed on the tennis court. I was freaking out, you know. I was a little kid. I was shocked. I had no idea Mexicans were that serious about tennis. <laughs> It's just a game, guys. Come on. Jeez. You know, it must, must have been that Ivan Lendl. You know, that was my favorite part about that joke. So, yeah. La Bamba, great movie, right? Love La Bamba. Yeah. Richie Valens. You know? Uh, I had a problem, though, with movies. Real life movies. Like, separating the real life from... Like, the actual real people. Uh, I watched La Bamba growing up. It's a great movie. Um, so I always thought Richie Valens was a 17-year-old kid who was part Cherokee, part Irish, part Hawaiian, part Filipino, part whatever the hell else Lou Diamond Phillips was. He's a mutt, if you don't know. But the craziest thing, what blew my mind is when I saw a picture of Richie Valens. Have you ever seen a picture of Richie Valens? Yes. Dude. Oh my God, that, that guy ain't 17. He's 70. <laughs> he lived a full life. He looks like George Lopez, now. <laughs> he looks like the busser at the Van Nuys Sizzler. <laughs> He did not look like a rock star, but he was fucking awesome. Hi, Grandma. Yeah, you know, what else? You know what other movie pissed me off? It was uh, Aaron Brockovich. What the fuck, Aaron Brockovich? More like Aaron, I'd rock that bitch. No, I wasn't married. Hey, babe. It's for comedy. Yeah, so, you know, I'm perfectly happy with uh, Aaron Brockovich, you know, a uh, pretty woman, you know, being a single single mother, you know, a lawyer, badass and everything. But then some idiot on some show, like, Access Hollywood goes, now let's meet the real-life Aaron Brockovich. How about let's not meet the real-life Aaron Brockovich? Have you ever met the real-life Aaron Brockovich? She's hideous. That's disgusting. And she's a fucking asshole. 
They should just change that name to Julia Roberts. I've watched that movie. <laughs> Ask me how I feel about Aaron Brockovich. I'll tell you. Yeah, you know what? Off track there, sorry. I grew up in Pacoima. It was getting it was really tough, by the way. But I think it got tougher when my sister signed me up for the New Kids on the Block band club. <laughs> Yeah, and I don't think she thought I was getting my ass kicked fast enough, so she was trying to you know, speed up the process or something. <laughs> Sorry, God. At least I knew all the moves, you know. That was pretty cool. But then, you know, the 90s hit, and then I go to school with, you know, a lot of little Filipino Asian dudes. And breakdancing started being the thing. And look at me, I'm not gonna fucking breakdance. <laughs> Why do you think they hire? Why do you think they hire those guys for Cirque du Soleil? Because those guys can fucking fly and bounce. I look like the guy painted like a butterfly floating in the background and shit. Serpent of dance. <laughs> Those guys were serious about breakdancing, I swear. You have no idea, man. One time they called me out. They're like, I challenge you. You know, they're like... <laughs> you start breakdancing, this is how you start, you know? <laughs> like, oh, I want you, white boy. <laughs> You want me like right this? Let's go, homie. Let's do it. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Boom. You just got served. Thank you, guys. I love you so much. It's been great. Have a good night. Shamings.